So we just look at it, look at the situation. First, there's nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing. No earth, no sun, no stars, no gravity, no light. Absolutely nothing. And somehow, these things come into existence. A sun is created somehow. The laws of physics are created somehow. The earth is created and all the plants appear on the earth. And then the animals appear on the earth as well. It's easy to see why existence and belief in God is a, a satisfying answer because it helps you maintain your sanity. You can just say that God did it and leave it at that. And as irrational as that and unjustified as that, it is actually something which can lead to rest wondering where, it came, or where everything came from. Just say that God did it and leave it at that. So as unsatisfying as that is, it also does solve a problem, a problem that can never be solved otherwise. But I'll try anyway. I'm thinking you have absolutely, absolutely nothing. No light, no earth, no stars, no gravity, no laws of physics, absolutely nothing. And somehow these things appear. Now it is easy to say that God did it and leave it at that. But try to imagine absolutely nothing and then the sun appearing and the earth appearing and gravity starting. And before we could ever get to people, you have to have other things in place in order to make it possible for people to come into existence. You need to have oxygen and food and shelter and gravity and basically so many things have to be in place first before you can even begin to consider the existence of life and it can never be explained and it's so frustrating to not know how it could be possible it could be that belief in God might be the only sensible way to approach the issue of life because rational explanations don't cut it they just simply don't go far enough to explain things I mean how did the earth come into existence? where did it come from? where did oxygen and water come from? Where did plant life come from? Because one thing leads to another. And of course we come to where humans came from. And in order to have a human, you need to have parents. But I'm thinking that that's the way it is now. You need to have parents now in order to produce another person. But it doesn't necessarily mean that the first person must have required parents. And obviously it's the case that there were no parents to be in with. So the first person must have come about without parents. Now how that could be possible is basically insane to contemplate. But there it is. I think it's deeply frustrating that we can never know the answer to where that life came from, to where the earth came from. But um, to just say that God did it doesn't cut it with me. I think that that is a bit of a cop-out. 
but um, a very successful cop out and good reason to believe in such a cop out but I'm not a very reasonable person and I prefer to have the, the right answer rather than just an answer that fits the bill.